What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And we're back with Season Wars. So we're into Season 4. Mindset is Planet 1. Uh, just, if we don't want to stress out so much, but if we land Masters, that'd be awesome too. Um, so I got a 6 star duped. And I'm thinking this is going to be a Gladiator Hulk. Um, and I didn't think it was like, definitely not a Void, I think. Uh, someone else ended up taking the Void uh, in, in my battle group. So, thinking Gladiator Hulk. And uh, right before I entered the fight, I'm like, oh, well, Yellow Jacket's in the pool too. So maybe it's Yellow Jacket. Either way, both of them uh, can get clipped pretty easily by the SP1 if you're not careful enough. And so it does end up being a yellow jacket. So I kind of did want to build poise on here, but I just remember um, during season season three at the start of the season. So at the start of the season of season three, I died three times, and then no deaths for the rest of the season. Um, uh, and it, probably not by coincidence, uh, I did stop trying to um, build poise as much um, just because it, it definitely wasn't working for me um, was taking no 12 more seriously as well so uh, yeah um, you just can't jig around with those furies from the aggression fury uh, once they have four and you get hit you're probably dead okay, this fight's over not too bad took a little bit more chip damage than I wanted to but I got through the fight so doesn't matter all right next fight we've got a tech I'm thinking this is a Yondu it's a rank 4 uh, so this is the Bane stun immune so not Sentinel I'm hoping I'm thinking it's it's Yandu. I, I take in Void just because he has a lot of health. Uh, so I'm trying to use my um, the health pool that I have with Bane to my um, to my benefit. So as you can see, he's taking uh, 576 Bane damage uh, because I have uh, basically like 46k uh, health. So he's taking Bane damage plus my um, my damage from debuffs so he's taking out like 900 right now so he's almost down and I, I end up making a mistake which is so stupid right there basically I evaded too early finished the fight though so yeah even still man I lost like 20% of my health for evading too early Next fight, 24. This is where I, I normally park, uh, let my boost run out, and then I um, I heal up if I need to, and then boost. Uh, that way I can get the extra uh, extra health from boosting, uh, as opposed to boosting first and then healing up in the boosted health, uh, since these boosts count or work off of percentages. So yeah, I healed up before. Um, uh, before boosting going to this fight I know it's a cord uh, and so basically in duels what it practices baiting these uh, the heavy attack and uh, the very first thing you got to know about Korg is that you want to only evade once on his uh, heavy attack uh, I made the mistake of trying to evade twice just because it's a two-part heavy uh, and yeah, I got parried once in this fight, right here. Uh, I don't know why I evaded twice, but it happened. Um, now I'm trying to bait his SP2. SP2 is pretty easy to evade. It's all melee. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, like Killmonger's SP2 and uh, Sabretooth's SP1. So yeah, I hit him into his blog even though you're not supposed to, but he only had four charges or three charges at the time. So I think at six is when he goes unstoppable and unblockable. So I wasn't too worried about it. During his cooldown time as well, uh, you can throw um, 
You can get your parries in, all your debuffs, and etc. Alright, so I'm letting the debuff carry on, so I got six debuffs now. Um, and I stop mid combo, that way I can get Fear of the Void. Somehow, I, I guess I didn't connect my second hits. But usually, I, I you know throw a medium and then SP1. Um, usually, it's not two hits, but yeah, I, I must have missed the connect, and that's why he blocked my SP1. Besides that, baiting again and SP1 debuff dead. So he wasn't too bad. Uh, I did remove the dexterity buff for this fight. Kinda have to. Uh, that way when you evade you don't accidentally trigger dexterity. Which is kinda dumb but it is what it is. Uh, and you gotta do what you gotta do to uh, get through. Alright so we got a rank 5 domino in here. Um, I, I didn't really check what sig level but um, yeah put on back my resonate and put on back dexterity because I wanna uh, mitigate as much damage as possible and I'm not about to block all of uh, Domino's specials especially with her being as stingy as she is alright so obviously I'm going in with Void unfortunately because I don't want to boost up again I am gonna heal up the boosted health uh, I'm just gonna go in with this um, Feeling pretty confident. Uh, going with the regen boost as well. And go ahead. Alright, so you don't wanna you don't want to uh, rely on your parries against Domino um, just because you can get uh, unlucky and not trigger anything. Another thing you want to be doing is that right before her power bar, uh, you want to um, use your special attacks. That way you don't get the unlucky uh, and she doesn't get lucky herself. Um, which uh, is what lowers uh, your ability accuracy as well. So at the start of the fight you'll have 85% ability accuracy on any of your abilities. Um, or at least 15% uh, reduced of whatever percent it was. I'm guessing that's how it works. Um, then if you get unlucky, I believe it's another 15%, which is pretty uh, fun and interactive. Alright, so I, I notice I'm getting really unlucky in a lot of these uh, uh, times that I get her over a power threshold. So now here's what I get stuck in the corner, and I'm like, ah, oh, crap. Alright, so I just gotta keep evading until she throws it. Throws it, block the first one, evade the second one. Um, and yeah, so I took 1.8k damage from that special too. Uh, preferably, obviously, I don't want to take that damage. Now I'm uh, using the um, trick where you evade and then light attack with uh, Void. And I, I noticed uh, my DJ is doing a lot of damage to her. So 800 per tick right now. And when I have the uh, resonate, it's like a thousand. And it's dominoes down. Uh, not too bad. It took a lot more damage than I wanted to, but um, made it through. So, yeah. Next fight, we got a tech. I'm thinking this is going to be an Iron Man Infinity War, so I can't throw it void. Uh, and it turns out to be a rank 3, so it's definitely not Iron Man. And there's no champion on this node that uh, makes me think I might time out. So going with Sparky, uh, and so just getting my combos, and then I start to uh, build my poise just because I uh, don't want to be in this fight forever. Anyways, after No. 31, um, that was basically it for my path. Everything else is pretty easy. Um, hardest fight being probably Domino. Uh, Korg wasn't bad. Uh, it's just it's basically you just take damage from the thorns and besides that end the block damage. So I, to be honest, I, I kind of hate that too. Kevin coming out with like uh, like new ways to make sure that you take damage. 
intent was. Alright, so last fight of my um, my lane. And so I was about to take Void, but I think, you know what? I, I refaced Korg. Hopefully, this isn't another Korg. Um, so I'm gonna take Sparky. And I knew it wasn't gonna be a Killmonger. Uh, if it was a Blade, Agent Venom, Taskmaster, uh, Kingpin, I would be absolutely fine using Sparky. Alright, so I'm gonna use my attack boost just in case. Don't wanna die to no 42, considering it's not that hard of a fight. Uh, so yeah, text boost, 23k health, going in. So it does end up being a Kingpin. And so what you want to be paying attention to is Kingpin's Rage debuffs and whenever the overpower buff or text shows up uh, that's really when you want to when you can rely on parries. So as you saw there I did not even try to make the connect. Uh, I'm just gonna evade or um, bait heavies until um, you get to overpower. So he gets overpowered there, and that's your window. It's kind of like Korg, or Korg and Kingpin are similar in that they have 50% shrug off, but they have this uh, cooldown state where you can get all the debuffs you want on them. All right, and Kingpin is down. Anyways, we ended up losing this war. It was pretty close uh, halfway through, but yeah, we ended up losing. Is hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah!